Hello and welcome to Chaz's Cinema Corner, a spoiler-free look at the motion pictures. I'm talking talkies, I'm talking Tinseltown, and today I am talking about the Bob's Burgers movie. Before we get started, the three questions you want to know from every movie review. Number one, no, you really don't have to have seen the show or anything else in order to really appreciate this film. Number two, no, the dog doesn't die. Number three, yes, there is a post credit sequence. Now... As I mentioned in the Downton Abbey review a few weeks ago, when you're going to make a film adaptation of a popular television show, you really need something special. It can't just be three episodes stitched together to make it feature length. You need something that is too big for the small screen, something worthy of the silver screen, and the Bob's Burgers movie absolutely delivers that. It's up there with, if not South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut, at least Beavis and Butthead do America in terms of a major plot, Bob potentially losing the whole restaurant, as well as different big character developments happening with people we've known over the course of Bob's Burgers 12 seasons. It is very wholesome. It is very funny. It has plenty of things if you're a fan of the show or a one-time fan of the show and for whatever reason haven't been able to keep up with it, or if you've never seen the show before. They do a great job showing each character on screen without having to resort into any sort of time-wasting origin redundancies that would kill it and waste the time for those who are longtime fans or casual fans of the show. It is a really fun, well-paced movie, and there are song and dance numbers, which may be the highlight of the whole film. Very catchy, very good. The cast who worked on it, from the voices to the writers to the directors, are all people who worked on the show, so there isn't anything that feels out of place in the Bob's Burgers universe. But the level of detail in the art and the aforementioned music is at such a complex, wonderful level that seeing it on the big screen just allows for such an incredible Bob's Burgers on steroids experience. This is another situation where I really don't want to give away too much because so much of what happens in this is a great surprise as what happens on the show as the stakes continue to rise. There is at one point a murder mystery. There is so much going on here, but absolutely the music, and I bring it up again just because you had the theater that I was in, a critic screening no less, people were dancing in the seats. Highly recommend checking this one out. I know it's got big competition this weekend at the theaters because Top Gun Maverick is opening as well, and that is a phenomenal, everything you'd want in a summer blockbuster. But if you want to chase that with some wonderful, wholesome, hilarious comedy, with, again, I have to mention it a third time because it's the rule of threes, some wonderful, wonderful songs, definitely recommend checking this out. And as a longtime H. John Benjamin fan, it is so cool to say, yeah, I saw a movie that he played the titular role in in theaters. The Bob's Burgers movie hits cinemas today, May 27th. I'm Chaz Kangas for Chaz's Cinema Corner. I love popcorn, and I love you.